Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Now let's solve these two problems from Bear and Johnston, uh, Vector Mechanics by Bear and Johnston. And the problem says that a steel tank is to be positioned in an excavation, knowing that alpha angle equals 20 degree, determined by trigonometry the required magnitude of force P if the resultant R of the two forces applied at A is to be vertical. The corresponding magnitude of r is also required to be determined now we are given this tank and two forces are applied to this tank at this point a force p whose magnitude is required if this angle alpha is given this is 20 degree and for the condition if the resultant is vertical so the resultant is going to be in this direction so now we are going to solve this 211 problem we will look into this 212 afterwards so now we are given that um, the resultant is vertical that is the condition so let's draw the free body diagram so let's say this is my point a and at point a we have two forces uh, force p so let's say this is my force p which is making angle to uh, angle alpha with the horizontal and that angle is equal to 20 degrees this is given this a is angle alpha so this force p is making 20 degrees with the horizontal so this is that force p and it is making that 20 degree angle now the sum of this force p and this 425 pounds by head to tail rule must give us a vertical resultant so the resultant must be vertical like this so now i need to add that 425 pound force to this force p so we will have that 425 pound force somewhat like this and this will be our resultant from from point a to the head of that 425 pound force so now this force is this force is 425 pounds and it is making 30 degrees so if i draw a horizontal line here so this angle this angle is 30 degrees and this is this vertical vector is our resultant so now if this angle is 20 degrees and if this line is horizontal and if this line is horizontal they are parallel to each other so then this angle and this angle both of these angles are equal since both of these angles are alternate angles so this is 20 so now we can say that this whole angle is 50 degrees so this angle is 50 degrees similarly if uh, if the resultant is vertical like this then this whole angle is 90 degrees so if this is 20 then this angle is 70 so we can say that this angle is 70 degrees similarly if i draw a horizontal line here so if this if this line is horizontal and this line is horizontal then this angle and this angle both of these angles are alternate angles so this means that if this angle is 30 then this angle is 30 so and, and if this is 90 then this is 60 if this is 30 then this is 60 so this is 60 degrees or we can find this angle by subtracting these two angles from 180 degrees since the sum of the angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees so 180 minus 50 minus 70 that will give us 60 that is 180 minus 50 minus 70 so this gives us 60 so this angle is 60 degrees now we have to find this force p magnitude we are required to find this force p magnitude and we are required to find the resultant magnitude now we can apply the science law so this is the solution of 211 so by applying sine law we can say that p divided by the sine of the opposite angle so the opposite angle to force p is this 60 degrees so sine of 60 equals to 425 pounds divided by the sine of the opposite angle so the opposite angle is 70 so that is sine of 70 so by multiplying both sides with sine of 60 this will cancel out and force p is 425 sine of 60 divided by sine of 
seventy degrees. So P magnitude is four hundred and twenty five sine of sixty divided by sine of seventy. This gives a three hundred and ninety one point six eight, which is approximately equals to three hundred and ninety two pounds. So this is that force P magnitude if the if we want to have the result in the vertical direction. Now we are also required to find the magnitude of this resultant. So the resultant will be again we can apply the sine law. So now we can say that R divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So the opposite angle is this, which is fifty. So R divided by sine of fifty equals to this four hundred and twenty five divided by the opposite angle, which is seventy. So four hundred and twenty five divided by sine of 70 degrees again multiplying both sides of equation by sine of 50 so we will get r equals to uh, 425 uh, sine of 50 divided by uh, sine of 70 so this gives me the resultant magnitude equals to 346 approximately so this is 346 pound and this resultant will be in the vertical direction. Now we, we will look into the problem 212. Now in the problem 212 we are given the magnitude of force P. Everything remains the same. We are given the magnitude of force P and we are asked to find the uh, angle alpha. The required angle alpha if the result on the two force applied at A is to be vertical and we are also required to find the resultant magnitude. So we will have the same uh, free body diagram now we do not know this angle so let's uh, uh, have this diagram clear for problem 212 now we do not know the angles now this angle is angle alpha and similarly this angle is also angle alpha and that 30 degree will remain the same so this angle is uh, this angle is still 30 degrees and this is 30 and similarly if I draw a horizontal line so this angle is also 30 degrees since uh, this angle and this angle both angles are alternate angles so if this is 30 degrees and the resultant is vertical then this is 90 and 90 minus 30 so this angle is 60 so we can see that this is 60 degrees now we want to find angle alpha we are given force p now the force p magnitude is given the force p magnitude is 500 pounds so let me erase this as well so now we are required to find uh, this angle alpha and we are required to find this uh, resultant magnitude again if force P is equal to 500 pounds. So we are given force P equal to 500 pounds. We are required to find angle alpha and the resultant magnitude for the given condition. So now if the resultant is vertical, so this angle is 90 degrees. So if, if this is alpha, then this angle is 90 minus alpha. So we can say that this is 90 minus alpha. Now again, we can apply the sine law. So we can say that sine of 90 minus alpha divided by the magnitude of the opposite side so the opposite side is 425 so divided by 425 this is equal to sine of 60 so this sine of 60 divided by the magnitude of the opposite side which is p that is 500 so divided by 500 now multiply both side of equation by 425 this will cancel out so we will have sine of 90 minus alpha equals to this so now we have uh, 425 sine of 60 divided by 500 0 0.736 and to find angle alpha we need to take sine inverse so 90 minus alpha is equal to sine inverse of that answer so 
I will find the sine inverse of my answer. So the angle is 47.40. So 90 minus alpha is equal to 47.40. And if you want to find alpha, so we can say that alpha equals to 90 minus 47.40. So 90 minus this answer. So this is 42.59 and we can say that it is approximately 42.60. So alpha is 42.60 degrees. So if force P magnitude is 500 pound, this alpha need to be 42.60 in order to have the resultant in the uh, vertical direction. Now we have to find the resultant magnitude. So and to find the resultant magnitude, again, we can apply the science law. So this time we can write that r divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So this is the opposite angle. This is 30 plus alpha. So now we know alpha. So we can write that this is sine of 30 plus alpha. Alpha is 42.60 equals to force P. So 500 divided by the sine of the opposite angle, which is 60. So divided by 60. So we can say that R equals to 500 sine of 30 plus 42.60 divided by, uh, this is, this is, sorry, this is sine of 60, right? This is sine of 60 degrees. So divided by sine of 60 degrees. So resultant magnitude for the second problem is 500 into sine of 30 plus 42.60 divided by sine of 60. So this gives me the resultant magnitude approximately equal to 551 pounds. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning.